Baltimore, Maryland, here at the UMBC Event Center. Happy anniversary, Ring of Honor. Ian Riccoboni, Caprice Coleman here to call all the great action for Ring of Honor's bronze anniversary. Ian and Caprice, Caprice, all the titles are on the line here tonight. We want to remind the fans, though, this is hour one. So when the top of the hour comes, you're going to want to buy the pay-per-view, log into Honor Club, get on Fight TV, and make sure you join us for the remaining three hours of Ring of Honor's 19th anniversary. Can you believe it's been 19 years? <laughs> Ring of Honor has been bringing this kind of action. Are you kidding me? Amazing. We have one quick announcement before we proceed. There was one change to the card. Unfortunately, Dragon Lee has a busted eardrum. It required surgery. He is not able, he has not been cleared by his doctor to travel after that surgery. He will be replaced, though, by the Ring of Honor Board of Directors. That's right. The titles will still be defended tonight, so you will still get your television title shot tonight. You will still get your tag team title shot. Nothing changes. It's going to be exciting, and the big one is the main event, the Ring of Honor World Championship on the line. Roosh defending against the man who's held the title for more days than anybody else. Jay Lethal, Lethal looking to become a three-time champion. Roosh looking to continue what could be a record-setting reign. From there, we take it to this match, Caprice. Well, we got the pure title on the line. We have Dak Draper taking on the champion. Our first pure champion in 16 years is still champion, Jonathan Gresham. He has his hands full against the tallest person there. Tag team titles on the line. Tag champs are 13 and three at anniversary events. Kenny King and La Bestia Del Ring, Dragon Lee's father, will replace him to take on Rhett Titus and Tracy Williams of the Foundation. LFI versus the Foundation. That's the story of the night here tonight. And that's what I'm getting ready to see here. And this is another one. We have Tracy Williams versus Kenny King and Kenny King is going to be using the world television title. He's going to be representing LFI with the world television title against Tracy Williams tonight. Kenny King eight and four in world television title matches. Here you see it on Sanction Match fans. We received a videotape earlier today. We don't know what's on it. Right. We will air it in its entirety. It is Matt Taven versus Vincent. We all saw what happened on the Ides of March on March 15th. The challenge issued, accepted. And what about this one, Caprice? This match right here has been a match in the making for a long time, and we finally get it tonight. Jay Briscoe versus EC3, the grudge match everybody wants to see, and we got it here tonight. We're going to find out if honor is real and another grudge match, a first time ever one on one encounter. Mark Briscoe versus Flip Gordon. Each has cost the other man a huge opportunity, and they will settle their score here tonight in Baltimore. But that isn't all because you talk about settling the score. Yeah. One and one, Caprice. One and one. We got Dalton Castle and Josh Woods. Josh Woods has showed Dalton Castle that he can beat him, but Dalton Castle was on a losing streak and is trying to get back in the winning seat. He's beat Josh Woods the last time, and he feels like he could do it again, and he'll do it tonight. But the six-man tag titles are on the line. This is a rematch that Shane Taylor promotion said that they wanted. They granted this six-man tag Granite rematch. Granite squad, the six-man tag title rematch. They said, hey, you know what? You're coming off, you're a little rusty. We're going to settle this. Once you get your footing, let's meet again on 19th anniversary, and we'll see it there. But first, yes. Four Corner Survival. This will be contested under Lucha rules. That means tags and exiting the ring can bring in a new opponent. Brian Johnson, Eli Isom, Danhausen, LSG, four TV title contenders doing battle to kick things off here on Hour One. Bozos and then there's the Mecca walking, talking, and running this goddamn joint. I'm the only person that's ever gonna be on. Don't worry about those bozos in commentary. LSG, the Red Rocket, I don't care about him. Eli Isom, don't care about him. And Dan Hells, whoa, Dan Hells, will smack him. Well, this is a four corner survival match. Set for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. Participant number one is wrestling out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing 209 pounds, Brian Johnson. You know I'm from Allentown, Caprice. You would assume, and I'm, I'm just going to talk over him as we have to. You would assume I'd be for somebody from Philadelphia. Oh I don't know what to make of this man. He took Dragon Lee to the limit. He is a top contender in the television title division. Well, he's, I do know what to make of this man. This guy was a blue chip a couple of years ago, and now he's got his footings, and he is making his name in Ring of Honor now. Eli Isom is in the house. Wow! Participant number two, Russell Rensselaer, Indiana, weighing 217 pounds, infinite. 
Eli Isom. There's a phrase the kids use, Caprice, it's called leveling up. And Eli Isom, the, the Rensselaer kid, he came out, defeated Ray Orson in his return to Ring of Honor television. And what a golden opportunity to jump right into the TV title scene, looking like a million dollars. So glad he's here today in Baltimore. Kids use, I use level up too, man. He's leveled up <laughs> four, five times, man. He's on level down thousand. Look at this guy, he looks phenomenal. The total package, Eli Isom, call him infinite. Call him the Hoosier hybrid. I call him the Rensselaer kid. This man has a golden opportunity in this four corner survival match. Will be contested under Lucha rules, and those are the rules that cost this man a four corner match on hour one of final battle. Participant number three, wrestling out of Edison, New Jersey. Weighing 207 pounds, Emma Hitch-G. The ace of space is in the house. No more, no more such a mouth. And LSG, who has a bit of a chip on his shoulder, you'll see and hear about that. Eli Isom, he and Eli will go one-on-one -on -one next week on Ring of Honor Television. He thinks Eli's being candid things as, as sort of a, a chosen one. And, LSG has had to kind of fight and claw for those opportunities. Well, he and Eli will meet next week on Ring of Honor Television, as will this man and Brian Johnson. All right. This, I got it. This is my favorite wrestler, Caprice. Hey. Love that Dan Housen. Participant number four is wrestling out of someplace far away. Weighing at least 300 pounds, Dan Housen. At least 300 pounds. At least. You see this guy? Viewers at home, if you can't so that means you. anything above. Actually, he, he, he could be. Where the hell is Dan Housen's stupid could be 500 limp. pounds. He could be. He's asking for Hello, the plan. Oh, hey, is that a, why does he get your name? Because I'm cool, man. Housen. That's why. Shoot. All right. Dan Housen, a very unorthodox competitor, won his job in Ring of Honor by defeating Brian Johnstone Johnson. Excuse me. <laughs> that final <laughs> battle. Dan Housen, so it's fine. And there you see the grand display of the cape. Shades of Baron Leone from uh, Los Angeles Wrestling. You know, when I'm looking at these guys, man, I can see either one of these guys and tell them a chance. You look across the ring, four, four future World TV champions. You're absolutely right. That title will be on the line. And reminder, at the top of the hour, we do go to pay-per-view. Code of honor adhered to yeah, with you Eli shake my hand. and Dan Housen. Right, you want to shake the Mecca's hand? I'm the best goddamn town you've ever been to. Did he said, right yeah, 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 yeah. And it's Mecca versus everybody. So get out! I ain't moving. This is my goddamn ring. I ain't moving. Beat it, pal. Beat. Dan Housen. Hey, strike one. Strike one. Oh, he cursed. Oh, yeah, he oh, cursed. Yeah. Oh, he did that a couple of times. There you go. Oh, Played as a whistle. I could attack it from behind, but I'm not a cheater. No swearing. Keep your eyes open on that cheater. Does this guy ever shut up? Do I ever shut up? Focus. Be well, this is Philadelphia's well, favorite wrestler, Brian really? Jones. Well, that's what he you thinks. A lot of wrestlers from Philadelphia. Yeah, really and Eli Isom and Brian Johnson sitting in the ring, single leg takedown. This match has huge implications in the Ring of Honor World Television title rankings. I would assume the winner would shoot close to the top, near the top. Johnson, who had a shot against Dragon Lee, did very well, did not walk away champion. Isom, who's returned, recently defeated Ray Orris. Nice leap frog. Look at the agility from Isom delivers with a big drop kick. That guy, everything he does is so smooth and so precise. Isom charging in. Popped up. Wow. Wow. Normally the guy would go over the corner with that. He used momentum and stayed where he was. Maintaining position, that's the type of stuff Isom does that nobody else can do. And I want to point out, as Brian Johnson exits, this is Lucha Rule, so a new man can come in. LSG, high angle takedown there. And grabbing the wrist, now look for the ankle. Go behind is Isom. Isom with a takedown of his own. But sitting out is LSG into the hammer lock, into the waist lock here. Shoots the half cover, just a one count there. Of course, the television title on the line later tonight. Tracy Williams will challenge Kenny King, who's defending in the steed of Dragon Lee. Wow. And I'm being told that's the first match we'll see as we come on the air. When the hour crosses, we will see the world television title match. Where the hell have you been, huh? I've been right here. Tag! And a tag! Enough talking! Bye-bye! Oh, who's he to say enough talking? Bye-bye! Get out! Mecca's ring! Bye-bye! And LSG and Isom, who will meet on television next week, it's now Mecca and LSG. Whoa! Locks it with the wrist. Pump kick sends Brian Johnson down. 
Do you notice on this pay-per-view, Tracy Weaver's getting two title shots? Incredible Gresham became the first man to defend those two championships out of nice. final battle. And Tracy Williams could be the first man to win two championships. We'll see if that holds up, of course. The main event. Ooh. Jay Lethal versus Roosh, first time ever for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Willis G has been in control the whole time since wow. he's been in the ring. He's maintained control of that ring. And Brian Johnson's out, so Isom or Danhausen could come in, and now, now LSG's out. Yeah, you know, two could actually enter in the ring if they want to. Yeah, that's going to happen. And, and Eli Isom's in as LSG, and Johnson on the outside. Isom! Oh! On his feet. Told you we could buy this guy special, man. He sure is. Eli Isom, infinite Eli Isom. Look at that. I like the strategy from Dan Housen. What's he thinking he's right just, now? Is he's planning. He's just taking Warming. his time. I think he's going to do something. Well, he's going to let the other. is not doing one of those things. <laughs> no, he's not. Yes, good job. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, and this is months in the making. Oh! He wants oh, to shake their hand. Look at that. What a good sport. Oh, no, that is the weirdest that. wrestler oh. I've ever met. What do you love? Dan Housen, you idiots. Yeah, you're supposed to, oh. you're supposed to say Dan Housen. I, I didn't know. Oh. 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 And this is the trouble with Dan Housen. Gets a little wrapped up in the showmanship. And Iceman LSG now back to being the legal man. We'll see these two men go one-on-one. -on -one. But this match right here has stakes in the television title division. Well, these two guys have the mentality that you need to win this type of match. You win these type of matches in the middle of the ring. They looked at each other and said, you want to do this thing? And they both rolled in the ring, and they locked up. That's what you're supposed to do. Two of the hungry young stars here in Ring of Honor. Irish whip countered into the corner. LSG up and over, rolls through, pops out. Isom follows him in, and it's Rocket by Baby, countered by Eli Isom. Into the corner, grabs the wrist, holds on. Here comes that Northern. Wow! Northern release, wow. And the agility from Eli Isom. Shoulder to the midsection, catches Isom. And it's Danhausen. He becomes the legal man. Tag made by Johnson. That's the second time I. Oh! Isom's blocked the signature move. He's the type that does his homework. But wow, you know what? You might not like this guy, but this guy's a phenomenal wrestler. Whoa! One of the most technical sound wrestlers on the roster. He just has a mouth on him. And that's not a bad thing. That Mecha Locomotive connects. The O'Connor roll blocked by Johnson. Wow! So Takes smart. out the knee. Yeah. Cerebral as Johnson delivers with a big leg. Inside out. Oh! Using the ring to his advantage. Cerebral and methodical at the same time. Look at that. Two. And thankfully, Joe Mandak. That cost him the magic of Dan Elson in the final battle. Man, you're not going to pull one of those over on Mandak. Mandak's the one who caught it at final yeah, battle. He's one of the smartest refs in the world. And now leading Isom back up. It's Johnson and Isom. The blue chips wow. here in Ring of Honor. Big time body slam. Delivers the fist. Cross body just a one count there. It's that stuff like that, man, that makes you have to appreciate this locomotive, man. It's the basics that he uses to his advantage. He does it well. Off, and he's calling for it again. Charging in. Nobody home in the corner. The agility from Eli Isom pops out, rolls through. It's Isom. Popped up into the corner, second rope on the inside, finds his footing, connects with the mule kick. And it's Isom now, second rope on the inside, going all the way to the top here, Caprice. Oh, oh God! And this is an opening! Could it be? Spike Gaskin! Spike Gaskin! Can he cover him? See, I, that's smart. Isom got out of the ring because he knew he was in a lot of trouble. You can't be pinned if you're on the outside. Absolutely. Shoulder to the midsection, LSG. Outside in. It's LSG off the ropes. This is with the right. Misdirection. Springboard wow. sets Johnson down. Caught that forearm right on the jawline. And LSG has been embroiled in some great matches with Tony Depp and Jay Lethal as of late. Boot. Stuns LSG, but LSG connecting with Rocket by Baby. Second time he tried it, first time he hit it, he's going for the pin, he's got him trapped. Two, and just a two count there. Wow, there was nothing wrong with that cover, man. That was a great trap right there. 
LSG, you can see match by match, just building himself into a world-class wrestler. Front face lock here, looking for the Saints explosion. Johnson gets enough dead weight to block it. And you see in the past, LSG would have lost his temper on that pin, uh, but he stayed focused. Wow. And a tag made. Isom tags himself in. I don't know if Johnson knows that LSG is no longer legal. As Isom going to the top again this time. Wow. High cross body on LSG. But it's Johnson who's legal, and Isom finds him. Uppercut, back elbow. It's Seguri. Grabs the wrist look for the Irish whip. It's countered by Johnson. Into the knee. Sends him into the ropes. Holds his own. Ducks the right. Ice up. Wow, all three down. And in the lower left corner. Yeah, I, I, when, when all three of them went down, the first thing came to my head is, where is Dan Housen? Dan Housen. We got double teamed on the outside, crawling back in. And wait a minute, if I'm doing the math right, Eli Isom was the legal man. And so I think this means Dan Housen's the legal man. Up and over, Johnson, John Stone maybe out, climbs the ladder, it's Dan Housen, rolls through LSG. I can't wait till Brian Johnson watches this back and hear you call him Brian Stone. Up Snap. and over, wow! wow. <laughs> Overhead German suplex. Dan Housen, John Stone, Northern Lights, bridge, two. Wow, just a two count. That's a gorgeous bridge on that. Getting to the tip of his toes for maximum leverage there was Dan Housen, and it's Dan Housen and Brian Johnson, the legal men here in our opening contest of hour one. Has him up, good night. No, no good night Housen there. Now here's the problem with these two having so much animosity towards each other that they could forget about the other two in this match. Oh, he's looking for the teeth. And this is, I think this is a miscalculation, yeah, Caprice. That's what I'm saying. You forget about the other two in the match that could cost you. And shaking the teeth, it's Dan Housen. Oh, and he's letting his anger. Oh, this is disgusting. And the, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, right in the mouth. Uh, no one deserves that, not even Brian Johnson. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he kind of deserves it. And this grudge has gone. Take it easy with the teeth, huh? Take it easy with the teeth. Take it easy with the teeth. Take it easy with the teeth. What is this, a tooth invention or something? His knuckle bones, everybody. No swing! Oh! And Johnson rocked! Wow, headbutt by Danhausen! Delivers on LSG! Gut wrench! Whoa! Planting Danhausen! And LSG cover! Two! Almost got a taste of his own medicine. Well, not only are these guys doing all this stuff, but doing it with a room. Rolls him up! Two! A, a ring full of teeth! Front face lock here. And it's Isom, blocked by LSG. Saints, explosion! Oh. Saints, explosion, plants him. Oh, wait a minute. Could it be? Good night, Housen! Oh. Hooks the leg. One, two. Whoa. Johnson saving LSG. What is he doing? And LSG almost. Lost for the second time in one of these matches, getting snuck up upon. And speaking hey, of sneaks. Hey, this guy's smart, man. Like sun in an empty room. It's Brian Johnson. Oh, oh God, come on. Oh, the process. That can do it. Two. Yep. Brian Johnson is your winner. The winner of this match, Brian Johnson. Like a thief in the night. Sneaking in, Brian Johnson. And this, hey. why does he use his, he's clearly intelligent. Let's take a look at the replay. Why does he use it for such evil? Here we see the good night Housen. LSG almost gets done dirty for a second time by someone coming into the ring, trying to win the match like that. It's Johnson breaking up the pin. And, and when he went under the ring, I was thinking, what the heck is he doing? But is he evil or is it smart? I mean, he did nothing wrong. Well, he didn't cheat. until the poke to the eyes. Yeah. And trust the process. He didn't bring teeth in the ring, though. Hooks the leg. Brian Johnson, 
Your winner. I do. Keep this Mickey rolling and rolling. And there ain't a goddamn person on planet Earth that can stop it. The Brian Johnson. Your winner here tonight. And and Brian Johnson, you know what? I don't I understand we have a video package. La Fazione Governables. And the foundation will square off in a number of matches here tonight. Let's let's take a look now and hear from Jay Lethal, who challenged for the world title later this evening. Roosh, at the 19th anniversary, don't think about this match as me versus you. Don't think about this match as my lifestyle versus your lifestyle. Don't think about this match as champion versus challenger. There is more at stake. This company's soul is at stake, and it's crying. You know why? Because you and LFI, you guys run around here doing whatever the hell you want. No repercussions, but the foundation the foundation is going to fix that. Because in one night, in one night, the foundation will capture all of the championships here in Ring of Honor because we will purify and set things right in this company. And hell, I've said it before and I'll say it again, Roosh. This is bigger than just me and you. It is bigger than me becoming the three-time Ring of Honor world champion. I want this company to stop crying. This is so important to me. In fact, este es el momento más importante de mi vida. I will be the next champion, Roosh, and this company will be set right by the foundation. 19th anniversary, things will be right. Well, here you take a look at LFI, La Fasión de Gobernables, Kenny King, the world champion, Roosh in the middle, La Bestia del Ring. Kenny and La Bestia will defend the tag titles. Roosh will defend the world championship, and Kenny King defending Dragon League's world television title here tonight. A lot of pressure on the shoulders of Kenny King and, and La Bestia as well. The foundation getting themselves together. You see it here. It is Gresham in the middle, the pure champion. Jay Lethal on the right, Tracy Williams and Rhett Titus. Titus and Williams could have a big night. Williams could leave with two championships in tow. Could be the biggest night of Tracy Williams' career. And what a night it will be. All the championships on the line here tonight. The main event, we know it is Roosh versus Jay Lethal for the Ring of Honor World Championship. But the war between the Foundation and LFI goes deeper than that. We mentioned the World Television title. Dragon Lee unable to defend the championship here tonight, but the board of directors ruled a suitable replacement could be had. LFI has selected Kenny King, a former two-time Ring of Honor World Television champion. Here we take a look at the Ring of Honor World Championship. That will be our main event. Roosh defending against Jay Lethal. Lethal's held the title longer and more than anybody ever. Roosh, on a record-setting path, could have one of the longest races ever. The foundation has made their mind up that they want to purify Ring of Honor of all the fire. They want to purify it from all the rage, and they feel like the only way to do it is by winning all the championships, and they have a way to do it tonight. And here you see Tracy Williams could be the biggest night of his career, but a lot on the shoulders of Kenny King. Tracy Williams 0-3 in world television title matches. Kenny King 8-4-1. King has experience with that championship, winning that championship, and defending that championship, and it's been something that's been haunting Tracy Williams. He could bring it home for the foundation here tonight. He can do it, but he's got the best person in mind with it. And wrestling again, These both of these guys are in two title matches. You have Titus and Williams the tag team titles on the line. Kenny King and Bestia with the world tag team titles on the line. There's a chance that it can shift. Like, it can be purified tonight. If the foundation wins these matches, they can purify Ring of Honor. And speaking of purity, speaking of the question, is honor real? We will find that out here tonight. Grudge match, Jay Briscoe and the man who's seeking to find out the authenticity of honor. EC3 versus Jay Briscoe. Let's take a look at what has led to that match right now. Jay, you are a man on an island, and I am assaulting your island. They say you want to take the island. Guess what? You have to burn the boats. And I will burn those boats in a fire of regret from the past, because Jay Briscoe, I want you to defend that island. Jay Briscoe, I want your absolute best because there is honor in beating a man of your caliber in a fight. Jay Briscoe, I want you to defend this island like your life depends on it because mine does to take it. 
EC3, you just mosey on in here, man. You talking about control your narrative. What well, son? How long has it took for you to figure that out? I can't tell you how many times WWE has called us wanting us to come. WWE offered us deals, max level NXT deals. And you know what I told them? I said, man, I could do that landscape. You worry about me controlling my narrative? Come on, man, control yo. How many times you done went up there and try to become a superstar? <laughs> that superstar bullshit. I'm good sitting right here fighting whoever we got to fight. I never have gone nowhere and I never will go nowhere. I live on this damn farm. Ain't nobody taking me out of here. So EC3, you wonder if honor's real? You want to know why I don't shake your hand? I'm gonna put it to you like this. You don't deserve to shake my hand. This hand right here, Mr. Sahara Masawa, Samoa Joe, Ken Skase and Saki. I've locked eyes with Brian Danielson. Shook his hand. I've locked eyes with Tyler Black. All the people I've shook hands with all around the world, man. And you want mosey all in and talk about, hey, Jay, shake my hand. Hell no, I ain't shaking your hand. You don't deserve my damn handshake. And especially because you can't look me in the eye. I mean, least you could do is look me in the eye, then maybe I might consider shaking your hand. But you can't even look me in the eye, man. If you give me a damn fight and look me in my eyes, then I'll shake your hand. But only after I whoop your ass. Prove to me honor is real, for I will extend my hand and the choice will be yours. Jay Briscoe, Ring of Honor, you have been warned. We'll find out tonight if honor indeed is real. EC3, Jay Briscoe, we talk so much about the foundation trying to cleanse Ring of Honor, talk about LFI bending and breaking the rules. That one's just gonna be a fight. And, I, and I'm curious to see if there will be hands shook at the end of that match, Caprice. Man, that that package there just I'm I'm so, look look here. You have to buy this pay-per-view. This is the first hour of the pay-per-view. That's gonna be an hour that if you don't buy, you're gonna miss all of this. You're gonna miss LFI versus the foundation. You're gonna miss EC3 versus the Briscoes, and you will miss Mark Briscoe taking on Flip Gordon. Each man cost the other a match leading up to this. And you know what? EC3 had his hand in Flip Gordon and all of it costing Mark Briscoe the match we found out that the almighty dollar is a little bit more important than honor so right now we're going to hear words from Flip Gordon ahead of his match against Mark Briscoe at the 19th anniversary I could and should be challenging for the ring of honor world championship but instead I'm gonna let LFI and the foundation destroy each other and then I'm gonna come in and pick up the scraps afterwards, because that's what a smart man would do. And everybody knows that I'm the smartest guy here in Ring of Honor, which brings me to my opponent, Mark Briscoe. 19 years, Ring of Honor, and you've been here since day one. You are a pioneer of this company, and I have so much respect for you. And this wasn't personal, this was business, until you made it personal. You want to humiliate me? You made me lose to a guy like Flamita. Are you kidding me? You want to get in there with Flip, huh, Mark? You want to fight? Is that what you're looking for, Mark? Because that's exactly what you're going to get. I'm not that kid you've wrestled with in the past, Mark. I'm all grown up now, and I'm going to give you the fight of your life. 19 years is a long time to be here, Mark. And I think it's about time somebody took you out back and put you out of your misery. And who better than the mercenary, Flip Gordon? You know, those who have never met in a one-on-one -on -one match before, they've been in multi-mans, they've been in tag teams, but it's a first-time match we will see. Flip Gordon versus Mark Briscoe. Two men that have a lot of history together, however, well, They've sent in a tape, and I can't, I can't stress enough how unusual these circumstances are. Ring of Honor fans, we don't know what is on this tape. It, it, it's a, gr a grudge match. Vincent on March 15th with Shakespearean undertones, the Ides of March, 
invited Matt Taven to come fight him on his own turf where it all began. Well, here's the thing. We kept them away from each other here. They couldn't get within each other, and now they found it on their own for this unsanctioned match. Well, we're going to take a look at what led to that match. We understand we do have the tape, and we will see it once the clock turns over at the top of the hour. Matt Taven and Vincent unsanctioned here at 19th anniversary. Most men, man, would rather deny the hard truth rather than face it. And there always seems to be someone standing in front of you when you're trying to move forward that ends up pushing you a step back. Well, if it's a step back that you want to go, man, I can play that card game. See, the deck's in my favor now. Let's go back. Back to a place where your ego was born, man. Where your ego left me to rot. A place where you either die in the heat or freeze in the cold where the doors creak and the floors buckle as you walk, man. And I have to ask you a question. Are you willing to go to a place where your ego can't be fed, where there's no bright lights, where you can't get the approval that you've been searching for for your entire life? Are you willing to come find me at the very beginning. And I'll meet you at the gates, Taven. So if you want me, man, you know where I'll be. Dig what I'm saying? I'm sure you want to know what's going on with Matt and what I'm thinking and all that, but like honestly, I I don't have a clue. I haven't talked to him. Uh, I've texted him. He hasn't returned my text. I, I just I genuinely don't know. I've tried to reach out to him. So if that's what you're looking for, again. Hey, what's I, up, man? Hey, dude. Have you, have you heard up? anything, brother? I, nothing yet. No. I, I was hoping maybe you did, but no, I. No, I've tried to call. I've tried to text. Yeah, I got nothing, man. Yeah. Like dead communication lines. No, man. I don't know. If I hear anything, though, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted. Let I'm, me know as soon as you I'm do. I'll be try around. To, try to figure this out, okay? All right, man. All right, dude. I'll catch up with you, all right? Yeah. All right. Let me know. Yeah. See? That's the problem. What's the problem? You're worrying about Matt Taven. Yeah, he's my and friend. you're worrying about all that stuff when you should be worrying about us. It's about us, the bouncers. We don't even have a match tonight. It's about the bouncers. even know what to say. Brian Malone is clearly conflicted, as is Mike Bennett. Mike Bennett has not heard back from Matt Taven. That match, we understand, is complete. We do have the videotape. We will play that for you here tonight. Well, here's the scary thing, Rick Abani. You have two guys that has found their own place to go to war. Since they've been to war, neither one of these guys have been heard from. So nobody knows what's happened to these guys since they've been gone. So there is legit worry, concern from everybody in this. I, I, I would like to think that the righteous feels the same way uh, about Vincent. They don't know what's going on. That's a hard situation to be into knowing that this pay-per-view is going on and you don't know what's going to happen to your friends until you see what happened to your friend. And they will see just like the rest of us, of course. A little bit of a contrast in styles as we talk about the next match. The foundation, well, they also have the Pure Championship. And Jonathan Gresham, the Pure Champion. The title will be defended for the first time in an anniversary event, defending it against the man who's undefeated in pure competition, 3-0, Dak Draper. Dak has a lot on his mind heading into this title match. Let's hear from Dak right now. You can tell by the way that Gresham carries himself that he's been an underdog for most of his life. I'm on the other side. I'm always the favorite. It's been that way ever since I was a kid. I remember in the fourth grade, on the last day of school, our principal stood up in front of the entire fourth grade class at the graduation. And most people are familiar with the Dolphin Award. But if you're not, our principal says, we chose one child. One child that if we had to elect him president in 30 years, that's who we would vote for. So let's welcome this year's Dolphin Award winner, Dak Draper. That's pressure. I've carried that with me for the last 20 years. When you have a lot of natural gifts, people put pressure on you. There's pressure to succeed, pressure to, pressure to impress, 
Everyone sets these different goals that they have in their head that they expect you to fulfill. When you're an underdog, you don't have to meet those. If you lose, you're expected to lose. When you're the favorite, a loss is embarrassing. A loss is humiliating. Doing well is business as usual. And when doing well is the constant, anything less is disgusting. When I see Gresham walking into shows, I can see the way that people's heads turn, the admiration that he gets, the attention that he gets. And I'm a little envious because everywhere else in my life, people look at me like that, except Ring of Honor. And that's because I haven't gotten the opportunity to be the champion that I know I can be. Because Dak Draper walks like a champion, Dak Draper talks like a champion, Dak Draper looks and moves like a champion. Because Dak Draper will be a champion. And if you can't see that, then shame on you. Dak Draper with something to prove here tonight. Could leave Baltimore the Ring of Honor pure champion. But when we talk about pure rules, two men, they're one and one against one another in pure matches. Dalton Castle and his opponent, Josh the Goods Woods. Woods on a roll, had defeated Jay Lethal, had pinned Dalton Castle. Castle saying if he can't defeat Josh Woods, he's going to leave Ring of Honor. Defeated Josh Woods with a little bit of a roll up, tweaked his back, rolled him up, and now the rubber match. But Silas Young will be in the corner of Josh Woods here tonight. This match will not be contested under pure rules. Simple wrestling match. We're going to hear from both competitors right now. What are you wearing? We had this conversation. I remember the conversation. You were talking about the game plan going forward. I was talking about anime and Pokemon, dude. I have the combo right here. Hold on. Yeah. Didn't I tell you, dude? Yeah, yeah no, it says. Yeah, I said, get a suit. Look yeah. like a professional. You said, get a custom. Stay on track. Get a. Yep, custom. Unbelievable, man. I just... Look here. Look. Here's the important thing, Josh. You got, a, you got a big match coming up. You got a great opportunity. I was gone for a few months. While I was gone, you flourished. You beat guy after guy after guy. Hell, even in the pure title tournament, sure you didn't win it, but the guy that you lost to was the guy that won, the guy that became the pure champion. And now Dalton Castle, former world champion, you beat him as well. But what happened last time? He beat you, Josh. He embarrassed you. It was pro wrestling 101, man. You, you fell for one of the oldest tricks in the book. Thing is, Josh, this pay-per-view match, it's not a pure rules match. It's a pro wrestling match. You know what, man? You're right. You know, I'm glad this isn't a pure match. I'm glad there aren't rules. Dalton, you messed up. You made a huge mistake. I won't be taken for a fool. Dalton, pure wrestling, it's more than who has the fanciest holds. It's more about who has the cleanest submissions. It's all about honor. It's about integrity. It's about respecting the roots that Ring of Honor was built upon. You don't have to worry about that now, Dalton. I promise you, nobody is going to hit you as hard as I'm going to hit you. Nobody is going to throw you around like I can. You embarrassed me once, but I promise you, it will not happen again. I appreciate your passion, Josh. This is exactly what I've been trying to bring out of you. But you seem to forget one thing. Dalton Castle is a desperate man right now. And when someone's a desperate man, it can go one of two ways. It can help you or it can hurt you. I mean, you don't think I don't know that? You don't think I look at a Dalton Castle like this and I see, I see weakness? I see a desperation? This isn't the same Dalton Castle that won a world title. This Dalton Castle has holes in this game. This Dalton Castle is a fool. And I will embarrass him. After I beat Dalton Castle, I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do. And that's hold Ring of Honor gold. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Sure, you're a technical beast. When it comes to peer wrestling, when it comes to getting down on that mat, hell, I'll probably never teach you a single thing about that. But when it comes to pro wrestling, you still have lessons to learn. And one of those lessons is don't overlook your next opponent. Yo, man, are you kidding me? I'm not overlooking Dalton Castle. I should be wrestling for gold on this pay-per-view. You should be. I'm not overlooking Dalton Castle. I'm more focused than I have ever been. Mm -hmm.
Peer rules match with Josh. I made a mistake, okay? Let's fix the mistake. And that's exactly what I did. I go in the ring again with Josh. Now I know him, I know him real well. The guy's like a, a children's book. The sentences in his pages, very easy to read. And once I understood everything about that meathead, I closed the holes that I left open. And I realized he was going to make a mistake. That mistake Josh made was assuming I was weak. I've been on this planet for 35 years. Not a single day have I shown the slightest display of weakness. Except for in that match with Josh, but that was fake. Yes, I have a victory. And if you look at the, the rankings, I'm on the board now, but I'm not at the top. So going into this match with Josh, it's very important that I perform. Do I think Josh is gonna be more aggressive in this match outside the pure rules? I'm, of course, yeah, I've, I've had a meal with that guy. I've seen how he eats. He keeps his elbows on the tables. He's a barbarian. He can handle a wild match like this. And now I, I've got somebody from my past, Silas. I know, I know the, the mental games he's plays. I've, I've been with this guy. He's, he's kind of a I've beaten this guy before. I, I know how hard he hits. I know where he hides his submissions. And I know they sits back on his ankles so I can get in there with my hips as fast as I can. But what, what if I can't connect those dots? What's that mean for Dalton Castle here? If Josh wins this match, he's guaranteed a, a, a shot at gold. And if he loses, maybe he comes back and he tries another day. But if I lose, I probably don't have a future here in Ring of Honor. This match against Josh, I mean, Jeez, I didn't, I guess I didn't realize until like right now, but this could be my last match here. If this is in fact my last match here, I, I, I don't know, I just want all the fans of Ring of Honor to look back at the moments that I've created here, take some time to enjoy them because I didn't, I didn't take the time just watched them fly by and now here we are <laughs> potentially the end of the road and now what just the, the, the idea that that might all go away that eats me up that lights a fire inside me that I, I, don't, I don't know if I can control so going into this match with Josh I mean like, <laughs> what's my motivation what, how am I feeling am I ready I have a who knows I just know that Josh is in a lot of trouble because what's happening inside here is going to come out. Good luck, Josh. I hope you're focused on being a hard-hitting, focused wrestler works out for you because I'm fighting with emotions. And so are you. Big time grudge match, Dalton Castle, Josh Woods. We will have a winner here tonight. The first of our five title matches will be right now. The world six man titles on the line as hour one continues. At the top of the hour, I want you to hit that button by the pay per view. Continue to join us on Honor Club. All Honor Club members receive 19th anniversary for free. It's only $9.99. Why not join today if you're watching for free on Facebook or YouTube? Click over ROHHonorClub.com. Right now is a special treat just for our fans. A birthday gift. The World Six Man Titles on the line. This match is set for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. And it is for the Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Championship. This match will be contested under Lucha rules. Introducing first, the challengers. At a combined weight of 534 pounds. Bandino, Flamita, Ray Morris, Mixa Squad. The former Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Champions. There you see Ray Morris with a great Aztec head gear. You see Bandito on your right, Flamita on your left. And you know what? This was an honorable thing to do for Shane Taylor Promotions. These are the former champions. We knew COVID complications held Flamita and Bandito off of final battle when they were originally intended to defend the titles, Caprice. And when they came back, it was their first match back. And so Shane Taylor Promotions said, you know what? We're going to give you a rematch so everybody's on even slate, so you got your legs back under your little. The 
that talks a lot about the six-man tag champions and about this man right here, Shane Taylor Promotions. Brand new music by Michael Tarver. This is one of my favorite songs. I work out to this. They're reporting at a combined weight of 846 pounds. They are the Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Champion, the Baddest Champion, Shane Taylor, and SOS Shane Taylor Promotion. A lot of people think Shane Taylor should have two championships as you see Moses on the left, Khan on the right. It's a rule, yeah? James What's the rule, Taylor huh? in the middle. Coming in your house, we'll use any way you want to do it. Because that's what the baddest do. And that's exactly what he's talking about. They're defending the six man tag titles. They're the champions, but they are letting the challengers decide the rules in this match. And they decided Lucha rules. And that's got to be in stark contrast. I can't imagine the emotions Shane Taylor's feeling after Kenny King cost him the Ring of Honor World Championship just a couple of weeks ago on Championship Edition of Ring of Honor Wrestling. Well, everybody knows I'm great friends with Shane Taylor, and there is a lot of things. This happens quite the way. Wait a minute. And you make a, a lot more money when you're the champion. You can't pass that up, opportunity up. And next is Squad. Wow. And Bandito connects. Hossberry flop. Oh, Shane Taylor. You got to believe this was a game plan from the get-go. They said, hey, let's get it from the beginning. They'll never expect it. I certainly didn't. And the size difference, we talked about it. On the night that Shane Taylor Promotions defeated Mexico Squad for the Ring of Honor six man titles. The size difference is key. They got to stick and move. They got to use those aerial moves. We know Bandito's pound for pound, one of the strongest men in Ring of Honor, but it's going to be difficult for him to use that strength. Speak of the devil, yeah. just driving Khan into the barricade against men as big as STP. It's a combined weight of over 300 pounds difference here. And this is Lucha Rules, which essentially allows all six men to be in the ring at the same time. Oh, pump kick. Stagger Shane Taylor. And they've isolated the captain of Shane Taylor Promotions. And a triple boot. And not afraid to go on the offensive. Of course, this is the first of five title matches. When we come on the air at the top of the hour, we implore you, if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, join us at ROHHonorClub.com. Order it on pay-per-view, Fight TV, 19th anniversary. We will kick things off with the Ring of Honor World Television title match. Tracy Williams challenging Kenny King, who's replacing Dragon Lee. Oh, ducks the double close line, double drop kicks, and Shane Taylor to the mat. You know what, Rick O'Barney? This is not the Shane Taylor. Oh, I'm used, it's like he's... This Looks a leg. I don't want to say he's off a step, but like this, maybe he's got a lot on his mind, but the offense that, they're, that they've been able to get on him, they would not have been able to get on a fresh Shane Taylor. I don't know what's... Khan stopping Bandito. Flamita stopped by Moses. And it's Ray Orson a bad way on the outside. That's not how it happens. That's not how it happens. Oh. He's talking to himself now. But I, I... Tag made into Khan. Of course, the war between LFI and the foundation heating up. This is the only title not contested with any members of those factions. You saw the tag, though, Caprice. I know yeah. you pointed that out. It, it, it's, it's a desperation. I've never seen a desperation tag out of Shane Taylor. And what's interesting, STP. Maybe not quite hip yet to the Lucha rules, thinking yeah. they have to tag, or Mexa squad is just going full force here. Absolutely, they're definitely uh, put the, the game in their hands, and it's kind of hard. They have to have a learning curve here. Shane Whoa. Taylor's promotion is learning while they're in the match how these Lucha rules go. And Flamita Flossen. You can't even lost with Shane Taylor promotion. Well, when Biggie did that, he was on the cover of Fortune 5 double yeah, And it's all, oh! oh! and that's a 5 0 to the face. Moses coming in and parting, not the Red Sea, but the Mexa squad. Thrust kick to the midsection. Forearm connects. Knee to the midsection. Off the ropes, and now STP getting the hang of it. Oh, nice. the spear drives out Flamita. Hooks the leg. Two. You know what? 
Khan and Moses got their A game on. They sure do. They've been in every step of the match here. And like you said, Shane Taylor, maybe just that uh, the betrayal from Kenny King, the pain of not being the, the Ring of Honor World Champion, not in the main event here tonight. Maybe it's a lot on his mind, but he's normally one that's oh. able to change that around. And maybe it was just the beginning. Maybe because, like you said, they're getting used to these lucha rules. Uh, maybe we'll see Shane Taylor come out of this. Cross body. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. Flatliner. Two. Ooh, very close. Two and a half there. Lamina, of course, coming off a big victory over Flip Gordon on Ring of Honor Television. And we see Shane Taylor. Second rope on the inside. We talk about big. Let me look for the big splash. Nobody home. And it's Oros attacking Khan, Bandito attacking Moses. And again, with these rules, it could break down very quickly. Well, this is the second time they've had Shane Taylor isolated. Like, he's. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if anybody else is seeing this, but I'm seeing Shane Taylor in a position that he's never and been in before. And I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is Flamita's not quite on the same page. They had an opportunity to keep Shane Taylor at bay. Shane Taylor trying to fight back. Well, Shane Taylor's always going to fight back. And these guys are having too much discussion within themselves, and they got the champion down. They need to capitalize on it. And they keep saying, Bamos, Bamos, Ray Orris, and Bandito on the same page, saying, let's go. We go. And Bandito. What in, what the, in world? the world? Well, you know Bandito's one of the strongest guys you know. He's, he's trying to is he stand. What is he doing? Wow. Estan Listos! Triple splash! Come on, Hook Shane. to leg! Come on. One, two! Okay, Rick Abani, I've seen enough to know that Shane is off his game tonight. And if the six man champions are going to retain the titles, uh, Khan and Moses are going to have to do it. They're going to have to drive the ship. Gonna and it's going it's oh. to be up to them. They're going to have to take control. That's all I'm saying. Something not right with Shane Taylor and the mental game. And Moses. Oh. Wow. Uh, that's how you do it. The strongest guy, you take him out. Just darting Bandito. It was a very smart move by Moses. Sends him into the ring now. And Khan front face lock. Sends Bandito off the ropes. Victory lap. Plants it with the victory lap. Let's go. Do it. Let's go. Huh? What's up? And Bandito is down. And Flamita gets Khan up and over. Oris gets Moses over. Taylor is with the right. Drop to hold. Connects. Flamita around the world. And Taylor, like you said, is in big time trouble. This is the third time they've been able to isolate Taylor. And Taylor, and look, and they're not getting along. Like they're not, they're, they're misconstrued and still being able to get handspring wheelbarrow onto the knees of Taylor, and just a half step off, and the knees driven right into the back of the head of Flamita. Taylor back to his feet. He and Bandito had great wars and matches. Oh God! Oh! That's the Shane Taylor I know right there. He could put him away. Wow. Looking for the Marcus Garvey driver. It's Flamita, who instead connects with the super kick. Springboard all the way to the top. Flamita. Around he goes. Oh, oh no. Bandito into Flamita. Rolls him through. Here Rocks we go. the bells of Bandito. Back elbow misses Ray Oris. Around he goes. Plants him. Wow. Sounded like DDT. Every time Shane Taylor's in the ring, it's like they can read his book. Oh, wow! <laughs> Chapter and verse closes the book. Khan. Did you see the way Khan came in? Like, Sure did. Outside in. Khan. Oh, what God! That a top rope jackhammer. Did he just jackhammer him from the top rope? Coin till on Flamita. I, I think this is it, Riccoboni. I think this is it. Cover. Wow. STP retained. Just like I said, if they were going to win it, Conor Moses was going to have to drive the ship, and they drove it all the way home. Still champions. The winners of this match, and still Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Champions, Shane Taylor Promotion. That's the team right there, Riccoboni. Huge night for Shane Taylor Promotions.
when one of their members yeah. is just a little off center. They, they, they made up for it, man. That, think, was, that was awesome. Thinking about the heartbreak, the betrayal, maybe lost opportunity caused by Kenny King. The other two, Khan and Moses, pick them up. Let's take a look at the replay here. We're going to see SOS, the top from Jackhammer, plants him down. And then Moses right on top of it, yeah. taking advantage of the Lucha rules, has him up, coin till, plants him. And it's all she wrote there. When a friend tells me, I got your back, this is what I expect. When I'm off my game plan, you're up on yours. That's what you do. That's how you do it. Shane Taylor Promotions remain the world six-man champs. Our first of five championship bouts. When we cross over on the hour mark, fans, you want to join us? ROHHonorClub.com is $9.99. Check us out on pay-per-view. Check us out on Fight TV. They power the baddest champions you've ever seen. Did you hear what he said? He said, I'm steering the ship. They powered it. That, it just explained everything I said. Shane Taylor Promotions on top of the world right now. The Ring of Honor World Six-Man Champions. Congratulations on their successful defense in the ring right now. Flamita not on the same page. He kind of stuck out like a sore thumb, if I got, got to say so myself. They weren't on the same page the whole match. They were kind of, and I don't know if it was just Flamita or everybody, but. Dino and Flamita, who teamed together as Mechs of Blood. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Come on, guys. Well, these guys, they're, they're, they are very capable of talking things out, so. Hey, 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 tranquilos, tranquilos. You guys need to calm down. Oh, whoa, ben, Bandito's on the same page as ours. I mean, like, I've seen these guys argue before, and they, 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 are, they work things out. Ya estuvo, ya estuvo. Mejor esta noche, tonight, a three-way between Bandido, Flamita, and Rey Orus. Oh, wait a minute. That's, hey. I, it, what I think did. just happened there was it's like, we can't get along. Let's wrestle. Let's get this thing out the way so we can get back together and focus. And Orus and Bandito clearly on the same page. Flamita is not, but... I, I understand we're getting trying to get word with the board of directors right this second. Yeah, they have to approve it. And this. they have to approve it. Why, would, I, they, why I, would they not approve I, I, that? I understand they're, draw, <laughs> they're drawing up the contracts right now. They're drawing up the contracts right now. So it appears we'll see Bandito, Ray Orson, and Flamita later tonight, triple threat. And that's just going to be one of the many amazing matches. We're going to see four more title matches when we come on the air on the other side of Hour 1. We're going to see the world television title on the line, Caprice. That's what's going to kick things off. You, you have just listed an arsenal of matches before this match. Yes. And we just added a three-way match with Mexa Squad. Like, it's, it's $9.99. It's $9.99, Honor Club, ROHHonorClub.com right now. And order it right now. Get your membership. Relive all the great moments of the 19-year history of Ring of Honor. And join us for the next great moment. Here tonight in Baltimore, the 19th anniversary, four title matches. We'll find out if Honor is real. EC3 will take on Jay Briscoe. We'll find out who is the better man between Mark Briscoe and Flip Gordon. We will see so much more. Dalton Castle. Josh Woods, the list goes on and on and <laughs> we are, what? <laughs> <laughs> as we live and breathe. Yo, what's up, Rocky? What's, what's up, up, man? man? How you oh, fellas doing? Shit. Good to see you. <laughs> roly, 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 oh, man. I love it. Wow. Hey, what you doing well, here, man? I, I heard Ring of Honor was having a birthday party. Of course. And you can't have a birthday party without New Japan Pro Wrestling and Rocky oh. Super Romero. So I'm here. <laughs> Rocky Romero. And look at this, Rocky. We have four title matches still to come. We I have heard. Woods. We have Gordon and, and Briscoe. We have uh, EC3 and Jay Briscoe. It's going to be a heck of a night. We're so glad you're here to join us. Well, yeah, you guys don't mind that I'm joining you. Oh, of what? course not. <laughs> can it, hey, can we take a picture when we finish? You know, just yeah. us, you know, <laughs> Rocky. Absolutely. You know, just, I got to show my people this. Man, of course. Yeah. It's already a party here in Baltimore, and when we cross that hour, it's going to be even bigger and better. There it is, the main event, the Ring of Honor world title on the line. Lethal looking to become a three-time champion. First time ever against Roosh. That'll be for the world title in the main event. Pure title on the line. Jonathan Gresham defending against Dak Draper and Taven and Vincent. We've received the videotape, folks. We have not seen it. We will see it for the first time with you. <laughs> just out it. It's yeah, a, this is the one I'm excited for. Just, Flamita, Bandito, Ray Horace in a three-way match. What is going to happen? It's going to blow the roof off of this joint. Do you know this just happened like right, like right before you came out? 
this match was signed. And you know what? That's that what match is going to happen on the next side, on the flip side, as we move from hour one into 19th anniversary. So for Rocky Romero, Caprice Coleman, I mean Rick Abani, order now, pay-per-view, Fight TV, ROHHonorClub.com, and we'll see you in just a little bit. Happy wrestling, everybody.